It's the Thursday Morning House Call with Dr. Lane Aina. Brought to you by Huntsville Memorial Hospital. Good morning once again. Big Glenn Edwards with you. Let's say good morning to Dr. Lane Aina. Good morning, Dr. Lane. Good morning. How are you doing today? Hey, it's Thursday. means we can see the weekend from here. Yes, and it's pretty nice this morning. Yeah, but you know what? We got a cold front coming. It, the temperature's going to drop to like 49 by noon. Oh, boy. That's all right. I'll get a jacket on. It'll be 70 to me. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so you and I were talking off air, and we always do. What are we going to be talking about? And uh, you wanted to mention something that not necessarily is medical. However, it could be if a patient gives you some information like you had happened this week. Yeah, so this week, two different patients of mine were unfortunately scammed, hacked, kind of different situations in both, out of money in one case and out of personal information in the other through their computers. And while this isn't about physical health, this is more about mental health, your online health, if you will, your financial health. One of the patients was unfortunately scammed out of a very, very large sum of money. So I wanted to talk to our listeners today about some things they can do to keep safe. And and I'm going to give you your first ever homework from the radio. If this sounds obvious to you, that's great. It very well might. Your homework is to reach out to someone that maybe this wouldn't be so obvious to and talk to them about it. I think that a lot of this stuff is very easy to avoid if you're familiar with it. If you're not familiar with some of these scams, they're very enticing. I'm, I'm not going to lie, they're very enticing. One of them I got an email for just a few weeks ago, and this is the first one we're going to talk about. This came to my email address. They will label themselves as Norton, for example, or McAfee as an antivirus software, and they will say, hey, your Norton antivirus is about to expire. If you don't call this number, then we're going to charge $585 to your card. Well, you think to yourself, I'm not a member of Norton antivirus. So the unsuspecting person calls the number through one of various scams. They end up scamming you out of money. That money's gone. It seems like you did the right thing because at the end of it, you still don't have Norton antivirus and that's that. Your money's gone. That person may not even know they were scammed. Sometimes when they have someone on the hook like that, they will go for a bigger sum and people can lose tens of thousands of dollars through this. So one good rule of thumb is if the email doesn't have the Norton antivirus header on it, it's probably a scam. And that's the thing. We all have been part of subscription services. When we get these emails, they look very good, right? The ones from the scam artists, while they're getting better, often don't look as good. They will have spelling errors, sometimes grammar errors, subtle ones, but they're there. If it doesn't look real, delete it. If you're not a member of that antivirus, delete it. If someone asks you to let you let them take over your computer, this is a big one, folks. Never ever do that. I work on a computer every day in a very secure environment. There is one human being on planet Earth I let take over my computer. Guy named Kevin, he works for our IT department. If anyone else on the planet asks to take over my computer, I say no because they don't need to. And I want you to talk to someone about this if this sounds obvious or you yourself. They're not going to ask to take over your computer. That's just not something they do. They will ask you to download a software. They will ask to take over your computer and they will steal all of your information. Oftentimes they'll black the screen out say something went wrong, but they're doing it intentionally so that you don't know what they're doing. That's a huge red flag. If they ask to take over your computer, just say no. Even if you think it's legit, just say no. Take it to Geek Squad at Best Buy. We are not sponsored by Geek Squad, but take it to someone you trust and get them to fix it. A few other things before we close out today that are big red flags. A legitimate company like Microsoft will never ask you to wire them money. These people don't like checks. They don't like credit cards because you can cancel that. You can get that back. The check, the credit card company can trace it. If someone asks you to wire them money, don't do it. That is fake. They are trying to rip you off. This is another big one. If they ask you to pay in gift cards, that is a huge scam. Hang up immediately. Report them if you can. But folks, again, this is not directly with your heart health, your brain health, but boy, talk about your mental health. You or someone you love, someone you want to talk to today, we can really help protect people with this information. So get out there. Let's keep Huntsville safe and let's get this information out there so that we don't get scammed again. Exactly. Speak to somebody that you trust. Yes, absolutely. Call your kids or call someone else if you have any questions. Just call a friend and say, does this sound legit? And often a third party on the outside can say, no, that does not sound legit. All right. Well, again, not medical, but medical from a psychological point of view. There is is Dr. Lane Aina with this week's Thursday morning house call brought to you by Huntsville Memorial Hospital. Let's keep Huntsville healthy.